Hello YouTube, um, it's been a while and we know that and this is different from what you're seeing and we know that and everything in the world is very different right now. Uh, we'll talk about that more later in another video. Uh, Elliot's not here, obviously we're in my apartment. Um, but we, we've, been, we've been trying to find a way to entertain ourselves while everyone is in quarantine. Um, like I said, we, we had wanted to put out more of a update video about what's been going on. If you're on our Discord, we've been a little bit more active there. We started streaming again, um, but the short of it is that we had all of these things happening in our lives and we were literally about to start doing content again. And then the whole pandemic thing happened and has really uh, changed what we are capable of doing, which is basically nothing. Um, I uh, I can't get to the shop right now, uh, not safely. Um, not only can I not get there, but there are a bunch of people there who are working still. Uh, and I we're not, we've decided that it's not safe for us to be around them. Not that there's anything wrong with the screen printers, um, we're just trying to avoid being having unnecessary contact with people. Um, but lots happened in the meantime. Um, specifically for me, uh, a new Half-Life game has come out, which you can only imagine how excited I was and have been for that. Uh, and that's what this build video is about. Um, so with not being able to get to the studio where I have 99.9% .9 of my tools at, uh, maybe even more than that, uh, I've been highly limited on like what I'm capable of doing. Now we've managed to, as you can see, I brought home one of the printers. Uh, I've managed to bring home some stuff to do some things. Uh, and so that's what this project was about. It was number one, I wanna make a fun, small little prop from Half-Life Alex. And number two, I wanted to do something with my hands and make something while I'm at home, uh, away from the shop. Yeah, you know, I'm very, I'm very disappointed that I can't get there. I, I really wanted to work on some things. From the last time that you guys have seen us on stream or on YouTube, I've designed and made and almost finished like a couple of things. Uh, and so it's a shame that I can't show that off to you guys yet, but we'll get we'll get we'll get there eventually. I'm not worried. Um, but so this prop that I made, I have a, I have one of them right here. I have a whole pile of them back there. Uh, this is uh, a food bar, a combine food bar from Half Life Alex. Um, you find them littered throughout the game as just kind of this neat little on the fringes world building. You know, it's it's just, just a thing you find in the world. You find one in the very opening scene uh, where when you start the game uh, and there's a little table next to you and you got just some, just some props, some things in the world and on it is one of these food bars. Uh, and I knew this was something I would love to make because like I said, it's, it's small, it's simple, it's neat. It's a great little, Great little thing to have. Um, and the build of it was was really simple as well. Um, I managed to pull the 3D model out of uh, out of the game. And uh, I pulled the, uh, the model was not super helpful again, cause it's so simple, but I managed to pull the, the textures, <clears throat> the materials out and use that as like the, the basis for what I designed the whole thing around. So like I got a reference of like how big how big is it in the game in my hand and kind of use that as the starting point of the design. And most of the design work honestly was designing the label. Um, so I designed the label in Inkscape in a couple hours maybe and then sent that off to, to a, a label printer where we get all of our stickers made. So I had them, I, I got printed uh, a bunch of labels to go onto it and then uh, uh, I mean, the, the actual um, Mylar foil bag is literally just that, just a Mylar uh, food saver bag. So I had a food saver and I bought some of the 
the right looking metallic, mylar, silver, whatever um, bag of material. And then I just needed something to put into it. And that, that part was easy, but also again, being stuck at home doing quarantine, uh, I experimented a little bit and I designed the part in class. Uh, uh, I designed the part connected to the mold walls because I wanted to to mold and cast them. I originally thought I would just 3D print a bunch of them, but they it actually wound up taking really long to print because they're just they're tall and it was it was more 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 work than it was worth. So I 3D printed the uh, the 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 little food bar in a mold wall and just poured my silicone directly in that. Um, granted, I used the wrong 3D printing profile, so the print looks awful. But the fact that it's going in a little bag, like no one's ever gonna look at it. And if and if you if you get one of these, please do not open it. They're not they're not meant to be open. They're meant to be vacuum sealed, and they look terrible inside. Um, but the mold was easy. It was a one part mold, uh, and then I just spent a couple afternoons casting up uh, a bunch of the little food bars. Um, I have a bunch of resin at the shop and it's gonna be so long before I can like use any of it for real. But I just grabbed some some older material that I had and just I just cast as much until I ran out of it. Um, and like that was pretty much the whole build. Um, we shot some time lapse of me cutting the bags, sealing and vacuuming them and putting the labels on them. Uh, Something happened and we lost like 80% of that footage. Uh, so here's the 10 seconds of that that we managed to actually keep. Wasn't that exciting? Um, but yeah, it was a fun little build to do. Something that I could accomplish in, in my dining room, which is weird because that's how I started doing prop making was making, I made the gravity gun in 2012 in it literally in, uh, a spare room in the basement, like in the, in like the partially finished basement. Uh, no workshop, no tools, no nothing. Uh, so it was a weird return to like my my beginnings of prop making stuff. Um, but I'm happy with them. I think they came out great. They look they look pretty spot on. The only thing that they're that's not accurate about them is that in the game. Um, the foil is like a custom, is like a red and blue foil with a logo on it. And I briefly looked into how much it would cost to get custom Mylar printed. And that's just like, that's just not happening. But the silver is fine. The silver I, I feel is acceptable. Um, I like painting's not really an option because it's plastic and it vacuums. So it like shifts but it's not a big deal. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with what I can accomplish uh, at, at home using um, minimum tools that I have. Um, I don't know what's gonna come next. Uh, like I said, I really don't feel super comfortable going to the shop, at least for the foreseeable future. We have a whole bunch of things that we were in the middle of working on from uh, the widow's kiss that we were that we've been building as a commission, which is like basically done. It's pretty much ready for paint and then ready to go out the door. Um, but I don't know when we're gonna be able to get to that. I've been working on a, a pro, uh, the plasma rifle from the original Doom, um, which again is almost ready. It's gone through all the post processing. And it's time to assemble and paint it. I don't know when I'm gonna get to that. Um, and then the Doomguy helmet, which is ready for molding. That one I may try and experiment with um, because this this project has shown me that I that you can that you can 3D print parts of molding, uh, parts of mold making. And there's this theory that I've had that I've wanted an excuse to try of uh, uh, doing part of the mold making process with a 3D print instead of like claying something up, doing a matrix mold instead of covering it with clay. I can 3D print my perfect thickness of of, of the, the material and then build my mother on top of that. It's going to be worth trying. I don't know how it'll work out. Uh, I may try and do that, do the printing here and then see if I can 
figure out uh, an afternoon to do at the shop. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know what more, uh, what more stuff we'll try and make while we're here. Um, I kind of want to make some more stuff from Half-Life Alex. I don't know, again, what I can really do. I would love to make the fully upgraded Alex gun just cause uh, I've always thought that gun was cool when it had 16 polygons and now it's like fully 3D and looks gorgeous and amazing and neat. Uh, so that would be cool. I don't know if I could do it, but it would be neat. Um, yeah, I don't know. So we've been trying to stream a little bit more, doing something, uh, some way of connecting with our audience and hanging out with you guys. Um, we've been doing it remotely with Elliot which is an interesting and weird setup, but we're figuring out a way to make it work. Uh, we're live right now at twitch.tv slash making it up. Hopefully we'll catch you there. Oh yeah, uh, I, as far as like other content, we did a a podcast, we're calling it. I don't know if it's really a podcast where we, uh, we made a commentary track for Office Space. So if you like that movie, like I know I do, uh, then you should check that out. Again, we're gonna try and do some stuff like that. Now that we're, we've got more time and we're trying to do other types of content and we're separated. So we're gonna try and do a little bit more of that. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely try and be as active as we can. And we wanna, and we appreciate all of you guys' support through all these weird times. Um, and we appreciate you guys tuning in for the last couple of years to us. Uh, we've really enjoyed it. So we are not, we're not going away. Uh, this is gonna make things weird, but we really like hanging out with you guys, especially on Twitch. Uh, and we're gonna continue doing stuff. So hopefully you are entertained by said stuff. Uh, I, I hope our next video will have a longer explanation of things that have been happening. Have you heard of Twitch Prime?